What's up? This is Darnell Mitch for MMAHawaii.com. Right now we're live here at X1 World Events presents Fight Club at the Nightclub. Still fighting later, but right now kicking it with the original Island Babe from IslandBabes.com. That's Island Babes with a Z. You guys have a little something going on uh, this month. Uh, it's called Island Babes Gone Wild. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. First time in Hawaii. So it's March 22nd at Pipeline Cafe. We'll be selling tickets tonight. So pre-sale is $10 or $15 at the door. Big contest is $10,000 cash and prize giveaways. So be there. $10,000? Worth their cash and prizes. So what do I have to do? Or what are you going to do? Or what do those guys out there or ladies out there have to do to earn that $10,000? Enter our contests and win. Okay, so what kind of contest can I expect? Yeah. You can expect a bikini contest for all you hot guys. Also a banana eating contest, a wet t-shirt contest. And for, ladies, right? and for us ladies, we got men's hot bod contest and I mean, the no, ugliest bod contest. I mean, I didn't mean, oh. I mean, I, I thought it was ladies hot body contest. I didn't know. I'm straight. I'm straight. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, tickets you can get them here. You can get them at all uh, military NWR ticket outlets. And where else can you find tickets for go Island Babes? Go you can go www.islandbabes with a Z dot com. Cool, man. So, and we'll throw it up there with uh, TV Magic and uh, make sure you're there. I'll be there. Island Babes gone wild at the pipeline. What's up, Darnell Mace for MMAHawaii.com. Jesse, man, you were, if you don't have a nickname, Slam, that's your nickname, baby. But yeah, hey, make sure you guys watch that replay. Him, you know, like, you know, looking like Rampage Jackson is prime, just uh, taking it to uh, Mini Moreno. It's slam, slam, slam. Talk about your game plan, how you got ready. Talk about talking through the fight. Okay, first of all, I couldn't have did it without my man Jared right here, right? We train together all the time. We two Army guys, right? Only thing we're doing is using Army combatives to win the fights. That's all we're doing. You know what I mean? So, right here, my man Jared, he said go in there, land a couple of punches, and go in for a takedown, and then use my natural ability, which is to pick him up, and what goes up must, must come, come down. down. That's there all go. it is. There we go, man. So, what, what's next? What do you want to do next? Uh, we're just going to continue to fight, continue to be undefeated. Too easy. Fight stop all the way. That's all it is. Go, now, baby. what I would like for is the other fucking gyms, because we don't even have a real gym. Guess what we got? We just got Army training. That's it. We go out and train troops on Army combatants to handle themselves over in Iraq and Afghanistan. That's we all we do. So guess what? If someone can beat us at 135 pounds, bring them on. Okay. If not, we want the belt. Can we get the belt? Hey, you heard that. You heard that, X1. Can we get the belt? Hey. I, that's a big guy. That's a big step. Kind of high at 135 champion. So uh, that's it. Hey, X1, Danny P, make it happen. And uh, anything else? Normally we say what goes up must must come down. And for Jesse, it's a fighting fight stop. This is Darnell Mason, MMAHawaii.com. Real people, real fighters, real pain.